It's nothing out here greater when it's coming to my family. I keep my girls right by my side like a fanny. Giant crawling to the zone and she so fancy. Dirty came out first, so she's so unlike her daddy. I just wanna give my girls the world and make them happy. You shit out my girl, I can't wait till we get married. My bad, come for anything. I'm running for best, talking about that wedding ring. I can never repay her, she gave me my offspring. Good morning. We just finished eating breakfast watching the game and doing the girls hair so journey's up first and yeah i'm gonna do their hair and then i'm gonna do individual learning time with them yes mama uh-huh and we're gonna go over all the words for today I, um we were doing so good until i pulled out the camera blue 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 blah blah Blue. So yeah, she's doing better with actually saying words and we do practice when any opportunity presents itself. So even while doing her hair, if we're like having like different colors or something that, you know, that they can learn from, I always try to incorporate it. So yeah, so we have been working on the color blue. Um, today our color is yellow yes, baby that's what we do with the brush we brush our hair good job um like they probably will be in the same kindergarten class i probably can convince the principal or the school you know the kindergarten and first grade but after that they're not going to be able to like depend on each other like you know forever so although they're twins and i enjoy doing like having them do every single thing together i still want to create um healthy boundaries and separate them with certain things so that they can be more independent and not have to depend on each other you know because i actually have been doing some research and especially within like the virtual learning that they've been doing like one of the teachers was also saying like some of the twins that she teaches you know they tend to have problems later on because the parent you know never separated them and like gave them individual structure so it becomes harder because they're like clinging to their sibling and yeah so we have been doing it and it actually hasn't been too too bad um the first time it was a little hard but then they got over it so yellow she said yeah yellow. <laughs> she said, yellow. <laughs> yellow. yellow oh this the wrong this the wrong yellow. leg jewelry y'all yeah. these j names are starting to uh, be a tongue twister in this house jeremy jewelry journey jaya say yellow yeah. You yeah, just said it up in their um, journey. Yellow. Yeah, I'm the only K name. Yellow. Yeah, Yellow. Yeah, Yellow. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to go get my toes done. I get my nails done tomorrow, but my toes in shambles. And I haven't had a wax since the um, doctor shaved me on their own <laughs> accord for the C section. Really? This shit still ain't came back in. Oh, uh, has it? No, when I saw it yesterday. Right. Let's swaddle you up, big girl. It's okay. It's okay. Y'all, she don't like laying on her um her little pillow. I think they car seats came in today. I took y'all advice and I ordered that um that Dion. What is it called? I gotta show y'all one. Babe, go downstairs and go get it. But I think it's the Diano, Dion, the slim one. I had never even heard of that car seat in my life. And I was trying to go pick it up, like I told y'all, but they don't offer it in stores um, for Target. That's where I was going to go. You can only order it online, but I ordered it on Amazon. And then Baby, Bye Bye Baby had it, but it wasn't in stock. So we just ordered. Oh, look at my baby. Look at my angel. Look, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Ah. So I, I like to run So throughout the weekday y'all I run errands when the girls all go down Because I'm pretty much here The entire time Hold on y'all the camera angle Y'all don't even ask me why I got on this sweat I'm about to take it off But um, yeah so that's just usually the best time for me to run errands Because everybody is down And I don't gotta worry about um, Jory needed to be nursed or anything like that Now of course I always got my milk on lock but um i know we swaddle time i know oh not this it's spit up on here oh let's get you back up let me go get you a fresh one baby hey mama hey mama oh are you
you pooping? Yeah, I remember these days when I y'all remember when I used to um catch the bus sometimes to go to school when I before I even was driving y'all. Oh my gosh, I have not um rode on a bus or a train in so long. But anyway, y'all, so look where I'm headed to freaking quick trip. I came 10 minutes up the street to come and go to quick trip. Not for gas either. I came up here for <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself. I don't even want to say out loud what I'm doing, y'all. But I judgment free zone, y'all. I am craving a beef fried hot dog from Quick Trip, and I may also get those nachos with the little fake beef. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all! Like this is all bad. But the chef didn't have a meal for us today, or meals in general. Babe actually has been cooking these last few days, but um, the chef didn't bring any meals because originally we were supposed to be going out of town like i said over the weekend but we ended up pushing it back to wednesday so we just said don't even worry about bringing the the, the meals for this week because we we're gonna be gone for the majority of the week so yeah um so i'm gonna cook dinner i'm gonna we're gonna have lobster and potatoes and stuff for dinner but just for a quick little lunch real quick i wanted to just get this and i think I think I'm kind of like convincing myself that it's okay because um, I'm trying to make sure that I hit my weight goal. But since I just hired my trainer, I posted on my Insta last night um, that I was looking for a trainer. And y'all, when I tell y'all literally within 15 minutes I had hired one, people be looking out for me. Every time I like ask people for like recommendations or something, like people be coming through. So I am so grateful I hired someone and he's so excited to like work and, and train me. And he's like, he's like really, really good. Working out park. I don't like parking too far away from the door. Mm, I guess I gotta come all the way over here. I don't wanna go right there. Where can I go? Should I circle back around? Cause, hey, what is this? Hey, how are you? Happy that you already got your gas. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say I fill you up, but you, I, I got a car. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm, try, I'm trying to give fill somebody call for half of what it'll really take. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I already um filled myself up. I'm just oh, gonna. Yeah. Okay. Thank right, you. Man. But um. Yeah, so yeah, I hired a personal trainer and we will be working out four to five times out every week, y'all. So I gotta be on it and he already knows what the goals are. Like, I'm really excited to just look, um, like look my best and, and be at my best health. I know you know this quick trip ain't being my best health, y'all, but um, who's this? Oh, this is him, I just spoke him up, <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, he's getting my. Oh yes, he is. He said I will be praying. I will be preparing your breakfast smoothies each time we. Oh my gosh! Here we go, y'all. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. He said I will be preparing your breakfast smoothies each time we meet. Oh my gosh! And he is much cheaper. I don't remember what I paid for LA Fitness before I start all that line. So let me let me think. But you know what? I think even if it's around the same price what is more beneficial is just the fact that i get way more time to train because the la fitness i uh, only was like paying for like one why is my car beeping it's just be so sensitive let me see oh but um yeah la fitness you only i think it was like 380 or something like that a month and i only was going was it one or two times out of a week y'all probably remember better than me one or two times out of a week. That's and for 380 a month, or maybe it was even 480 a month. I can't remember. Y'all probably have to. You can probably look up, look it up on their site and see what their personal training fees are. But yeah, that compared to him, I'm getting four to five days out of a um, four days minimum, four five days max out of a week. And so yeah, you guys, I am like one. Um, 105.8 i know when i just got the scale i weighed myself i was 113 i was so happy i was like i'm only two pounds away from my weight goal but now i'm freaking 105 and i know it has a lot to do with um breastfeeding and also being stressed out y'all i'm not even gonna lie to y'all just being stressed overall because although we have been dealing with everything and handling everything um as a family um, for a period of time it's just reopening those wounds because to be honest no one knew so not even really just social media finding out like the people we actually know in real life are finding out with you guys I just wanted to go get my camera so you can tell them too okay you don't have to cry y'all she has started this thing or she cries every time I leave the one with her let's see if she does it I 
so I literally have to stay by her side. Yellow. <laughs> she said no. no. Oh, you said it. yellow. No. Yellow. Wait, so low. Say it louder and pro. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yes. Yes, ladies. Yes, we got it in the day. Bye bye. Where are you going? You going to baby? <laughs> I just put baby down. Okay, guys. So I am here to. Um, give you guys the good news <laughs> or good news for a lot of you guys but um, I feel like it came so fast that I we were just saying in today's vlog um, to go ahead and purchase the book and read um, read everything so that when we are allowing you guys to ask questions you will be caught up and here we are the very next day so yeah me and babe discussed it today and we decided that as soon as we come back from out of town we will be filming the sit down video for you guys so you guys probably won't get a vlog unless i don't even know if i'm bringing my laptop to be honest um i kind of just want to enjoy my time with my family um so most likely i don't know i can't really say y'all know how i get though i'm a workaholic so i probably will sneak my dang on computer into my bag but anyways you guys this is the official video where we will be accepting questions for the sit down video we have been very open and honest and transparent with you guys um with the video i mean with writing the book um and now this is an opportunity to go ahead and ask us some questions so we can be candid with all of our supporters our keys and our duns and especially the people who have been following since my spellman days i know you guys have invested a lot of time years into following my journey my life keeping up with everything that i've been through the good the bad the ugly um and then now having something like this happen and i want to give me and jeremy an opportunity to you know discuss things with you guys and just be raw and real because it is what it is at this point so hopefully you guys can respect that i know a lot of you guys do and then some people just gonna be watching just because they want to watch some people read the book just to try to find the tea and all of that is okay however before um you guys go into the comment section because i know some of y'all probably ran to the comment section like let me ask my question please 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 I have a few things i want to say because I'm going to ignore the comment if I see it. Um, I think that some people got, uh, were a, like, a, I don't know if I want to say confused or misinformed or didn't read the book and then kind of like piggyback what off someone else said. First things first, um, I, I, we don't really want to see people asking us like, why did I stick around after Jeremy um, cheated on me and got um, someone pregnant while I was pregnant because that did not happen. We never said in a book that he got someone pregnant while I was pregnant the second thing is um unfortunately there have been some people who have been reaching out if you have left comments under our um instagram or in the comment section of the video saying so anything about the book like uh, i know a lot of people who are like trying to get the book um speaking of she just literally texted me but um i know there are some people who have been saying they were trying to get the book or something about the link and some people have actually been emailing the people who have left their emails and are saying like it's me and jeremy um and we're giving some exclusive information to the situation and all this other stuff please ignore that you guys the only legitimate form of communication is from um my business email or um me and jeremy's joint business email or any of our you know um actual instagram pages but we're trying to keep everything business and keep everything on the business email um or on the business phone but you know some people are dming me or some people are leaving comments or something but if someone from an outside email or something like that emails you or hits you up please you guys please 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 ignore it it is not me and jeremy you guys it's not us um, unfortunately you know how this internet stuff is so please do not believe it um, people are putting numbers in the email to try to trick it um, trick you guys into believing um, and it's not us another thing I know some people are trying to make videos or trying to leak stuff saying that they talked to the girl no um, they, they talk to the friends the family or whoever involved with her we try to pay her off none of that is true you guys that is absolutely bananas she wants nothing to do with the internet she is not she does not want any parts of the, so, social media for people to come and drag her um 
So yeah, you guys, that's exactly why we want to give you guys the opportunity to ask us questions in a sit down video. Whatever questions you guys want to ask is all free game, but do not go to any other sources who think they have some answers or anything like that because they do not. Like no one has no answers in regards to anything and we are being as open and honest as we possibly can be. Okay guys, so when I tell y'all I'm so freaking annoyed, I'm... <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Somebody tell me to get off of Amazon. I need to stop freaking ordering. I don't even know what is in these two packages. I told y'all earlier that I had got the notifications that the packages were delivered. And the only thing I can think of were the car seats that I just ordered. And I was like, okay, baby's gonna go get them because I knew they were gonna be too heavy for me. And he comes back up here with this. Two, two of these packages. I'm like, what the world? What is this? I don't even know. Like, I know there's no car seats in this freaking stuff. So I, um... So I looked at my order. I'm like, okay, one, okay. so the car seats must be coming tomorrow. Y'all, there's not even no car seats on my freaking history. I freaking have so many checkout carts on my phone, my computer, of Amazon. I literally forgot to freaking, like it was on the pay page. And I guess I must have got distracted or somebody must have called me. So I just ordered it now. And like I said, this is the car seat that you guys recommended. The Diano. The, when it gets here, I'm going to actually show you guys. But this is not like a common car seat. So you can really only order it. So I'm screwed. And I really wanted it to be here before we went out of town so that the girls can have their new car seat. But, oh, we're going to have to just make do. Um, hopefully, I'm really crossing my fingers that it does come tomorrow. Because lately, with everything that I have been ordering from Amazon, it has come, like, literally the next business day. So, anyway, y'all, let's see what the freak I actually did order. Because, oh, hold on, y'all. Oh, let's see. This ain't gonna take it's got my address on every side, like my number. You don't know how to be writing on it. My computer. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I ordered this. I totally forgot. If somebody can guess what the heck this most random item is. Oh my gosh. Hey Journey. Look what mommy got. Girl, some tie. Uh-uh, you're not going to, uh-uh, you can't pick this up. Too heavy, too heavy, too heavy. So I ordered detergent. Totally forgot. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I just be ordering any and everything. Literally, literally, this is, this is crazy. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let's see what's in the other box. Don't pick it up, Jeremy. I'm watching you, girl. I'm watching. No ma'am. No ma'am. Sit. Come over here. Come. Let's see what's in the mystery box. Let's see what's in the mystery box. What you think it is? I, I I remember ordering it, but I don't remember what I what else I had put in the cart. Probably something for them. <laughs> and it probably is. Yeah, some drift their detergent. Y'all. And the crazy part is the next day, the after I ordered this, I literally went to Target and picked up another one. And I ordered some more of my favorite soap. My my um, all around soap that I just showed y'all at Target. Remember I just showed y'all that Target haul? So, what was the point of me ordering this stuff, ordering detergent, ordering this soap, and then I went straight to Target and bought it, y'all. When I tell y'all, but I be having to stock up because you we go through detergent because we be washing the kids' clothes so much. Our clothes. Girls, we'll be leaving Wednesday morning, so... It probably, worst case scenario, it comes on Wednesday and we won't be able to use it because we'll be on the road by the time it actually gets here. So that's a bummer. Um, but I did a lot of research and it's my fault because when you all told me to get it, I had, hey Jaya, I kept it in my car seat. I mean, not my car seat. I kept it in my um, cart for like days because I was doing so much research on the car seat. And it was like I felt a little indifferent because overall when I type in that car seat on Google, like overall the reviews were good. But then like when I started doing some of my research on the people who were leaving the bad reviews, because I always go to the bad reviews to see why people were leaving it. Because sometimes it may not have been the product itself. It may be like uh, some people were like, oh, it just didn't work for my car or it was hard to install or something like that. But that didn't mean, like me, I, the number one thing is safety. Like, the only thing that I, one thing that I did see that was questionable for me, it was 
was the comfort of it although i won't be sitting in it, it some people were saying like the seat was uncomfortable but then there was like two different models the 2019 version the 2020 version then there was a model that had the cup already attached to it, the cup holder attached to it so it was a lot of different variables that i was considering so i think all of that just literally made me forget <laughs> like i had it in my my um cart and then when i really remember and we were gonna be going on a trip i tried to go pick it up from target um and it was not available to even be sold in target and then bye bye baby said it was out of stock so that left me to order and then i still didn't freaking order it so oh that's why i need to get my freaking behind off of freaking amazon <laughs> if i'm gonna be doing crazy stuff like that but like i said the detergent gonna definitely get used um this soap lasts really long so that's a good thing but you guys oh yeah i have one more thing one more thing I want to show you guys. And then I'm gonna let you guys go. Hold on. Oh, I got the scissors. Do have something exciting I want to share. Y'all know we had to get this. I'm, and we're gonna order so much more, like for the Fever Home, but for now I just want to have something. So, yay! It looks so good my babies so we still haven't even put up that picture but i think what i want to do is put this in our room and put it above our bed so we can have a little wall decor just for now um because we could have i like i said i could have printed out a picture of me and babe but i just didn't want to do anything in regards to the master room for real for real until we actually decorate it in our forever home because it's just pointless at this point to just keep getting stuff just for temporary um but this is gonna go in the forever home regardless like we can definitely find a place to put this even if it's like on a random wall coming up the stairwell you know so i went ahead and got this this is so cute my babies oh my gosh look at my beautiful angels i can't believe i'm a mother of three beautiful angels like these look at me just add me to the end of it oh look at them this is so cute oh my gosh or maybe i should put this right here this is so cute but our family picture is bomb and i wanted to get some like pillows like the other day i was like i'm about to go to home goods because i don't even like this decor in this living room like i'm getting the interior decorator for the favorite home like we get we get it decked out we're not doing no basic we're not doing and it's going to be much larger so i'm going to need a professional to come in and really help decorate but yeah, so anyways, I was gonna go to Home Goods and just get some new pillows, some new throws, and make it a little bit more decent up in here. And then I was like, why? Cause y'all already know it's like twenty, thirty dollars per pillow, then twenty, thirty dollars for a throw blanket. So unnecessary money for whatever reason. This is probably gonna go in like the basement or like a yeah, most likely it's gonna go in the basement in the fair of a home. But um, there's no point to get all that stuff when we got you know some blankets right here that hold us over. And we don't really need pillows out here, but just stay tuned, y'all. This basic, I know it's like clutter in this house. Like, just we don't have no space, y'all. So, y'all just got to bear with us when y'all be seeing clutter. Like, we have three kids and two of everything for the girls. Nowhere to put it. Um, someone did recommend that we get a storage unit, which we had thought about. But then I kind of, like, opted out of because my mom, you know, my sister moved out. So, my mom has extra bedrooms and she has an attic. So, we, we've been pretty much giving my mom everything for her to just hold for us or just giving it away. So, that's kind of why we didn't get the storage unit. But I know the computer area, I really hate it being right there. I really wish it can be out of the way. But, like I said, it's temporary. So, sometimes you got to thug it out, y'all. So, that's what we're doing, thugging it out. I'm stop by and tell her hello. Okay, let me just go through here because I feel like this is the way I came through. Y'all, y'all see this lighting? Okay, this is a better.